and uh, thanks to the witnesses who have uh, come this morning to explain the significance of the legislation before us. I am both uh, deeply saddened and angered at the same time that some of the members of this subcommittee uh, would not take the time to come and hear your story to understand what is at stake and why this is so important for the San Carlos tribe, for the Apache people, and for Native Americans. It is a truly unfortunate and tragic that this is happening in the 21st century once again. What are the lessons that we learn? What have we incorporated from our tragic history and the genocide that's been inflicted on the Native American community across our country? And as I ask that question, the answer seems to be pretty clear. We discard the significance of what land means to the original inhabitants of this country, of these lands. We discard whatsoever what faith means and spirituality and what sacredness is to these people. We hear a lot of talk about religious freedom and protecting the rights of people everywhere and their right to worship as they wish and we cannot practice that in our own country, in our own nation. We cannot uphold that. It is truly shameful. This is a total desecration of religious rights. This is an insult to what is truly sacred to people. Sacredness cannot just pertain to one faith, to one people, to one nationality, to one ethnic group. It has to be embraced and respected for all people. We are not doing that. Finally, we seem to not understand what all of these things mean for culture. Culture is the ability to sustain life, to hand down to your children, to your grandchildren, to your great-grandchildren. And we are desecrating all of that because we refuse to understand the essence of what it is to be a native person, a native human being. I am the newest member of this committee, and I am appalled that this is happening right before us, and that we learn some of the history of how this legislation came to be in the first place. It was a parliamentary maneuver done in the dark, violating the process and the spirit of how we seek to pass legislation for all people and to understand all of its consequences. In this instance, we have shut our eyes. And darkness has produced an outcome that puts private enterprise, multinational interests over the interests of those who can call this country and these lands, their lands. It's a shameful day. I thank all of you for being here today. I thank the chairman for holding this hearing. And I hope that as you continue in your fight for life, in your fight against oppression, in your fight against all of the mighty odds that you are facing, that all of us will come to learn something from it, and that we will be inspired to teach our children the right way, and that the only way forward, if we're to survive as a nation, as a society, and as a world, is to respect the rights of all people. Thank you for being here today.